Hey guys, I am Courtney Russell and I'm going to be talking today about the True Shine Jamberry Kit, which I'm really excited about. Um, so when you first get your box, you're going to be so pumped and then it comes in this cute little box and you're just going to open it up. And as you can tell, I've already used mine because I'm super excited about it. So um, it's going to come with your LED curing lamp. Okay, it's going to come in this box. Um, and it's going to come with everything that you need, um, even gel removals. Um, it's going to come with your orange sticks and a cuticle stick and a nail file. Um, it's going to come with the Jamberry nail prep wipes, um, which we're going to use at the end. You'll see that. Um, it also comes with the buffer. Um, it's going to come with the base uh, top coat and with the black cherry um, color. So then it also comes with the cuticle oil. So that's everything it's going to come with in your box. You can cut it. Okay, so what we're going to do is these are my jams and I've kind of done them a little bit differently. So I layered these wraps uh, with a stripe and I'm going to show you in just a second how to put a top coat and a base coat over that. And then secondly, over this white wrap, I put a white wrap over um, my wrap and it, and it does come through a little bit. I'm going to show you how to take that to the next level by adding a sparkle over it. Um, just to kind of blend in and match with your wraps. Okay, so first thing you want to do is to mix up your bottles. Um, you either want to give it like a good spin. And what I do is I turn my bottles upside down just so that they'll start mixing. Especially the glitter um, because it settles in the bottom. So that way, you know, while it's kind of doing this, it's mixing. You definitely don't want to shake the bottle because that creates bubbles. Okay, so what we're going to do first is the top coat. I'm sorry, base coat. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do this base coat, and you just want to get a nice thin layer. So it'll kind of bunch up here at the top. I just try to get all that excess off and just wipe a lot off. You just want a nice thin coat. Okay, and you can always go back in and get a little bit on the end of your brush. So then I'm going to just apply a nice thin coat of my base to my nail. Okay. And you want to seal the ends. So because you want to seal the ends, you want to get the end. And then you can just, again, give it a nice coat. You can't really see what you're doing because you're laying it over color. Okay. Then if you get any um, thing on the edge of your nails or anything like that, any of that base coat I got a little under here, I usually get an orange stick, put a little toilet paper on the end, and I will use some of our remover, um, cleanser, nail prep, and just kind of take the end and make sure that all my edges are nice and clean and ready to go. Okay, and then you are going to put your nail in there and cure it for 45 seconds. The lamp continues to go and it will cure it for you. It has a 45 second timer on it and it only takes one time for that thin coat. Okay, so we're all done with the base coat and now we're gonna do the top coat. And what it's gonna do is just give this a really bright shining shine on top. It's gonna be nice. And it's also going to seal those layered wraps in. It's gonna really take it to the next level. That's something I love about this. Again, this has been upside down, so you just want to wipe off all of that excess. There's a ton on here, and if you swirl it around, it will get all of that off. Okay, and then you just want a little bit on the end of your brush. And for this one, I like to get really close. And I just want to make sure it's nice and sealed just on the nail and you definitely do not want it on the skin. If you get it on the skin, it's going to peel up. Again, you really want that end. 
and I'm just sealing it in. And I got it a little bit on my skin, which is okay, because I go back. I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I know some of y'all are saying, oh my gosh, she's layering so many times. But, I don't know, that's just how I am. So I'm going to take that off, make sure I didn't get any on my skin, and then that top coat is done, curing. Okay, so you always, this is how you, your colors need to go, or how the layers need to go. It needs to go base, color, and then the top coat. Well, I've already done a base on this one, and now I'm going to show you how to take your wraps to the next level. So, this one was turned upside down. All that glitter is going to be up here at the top, as you can see. So, I am going to just swirl it around and try to get all that glitter off. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, she's wiping it all off. What's going to happen? Just going to go back in and get a little bit on the edge. Okay, so with glitter, it is just technically a top coat. Okay, if you want it to be more of a solid, then you're going to have to put multiple layers on. So for just the purpose of this video, I really just want this to be a top coat just to add to some color. Okay, so I am just going to be doing one coat but again if you want more of a solid color that is okay too and you're just going to have to do more coats um which is fine you're still going to need to seal the end and then you can just go back over it with it if you find that like right here in this spot i don't know if you can get close enough but if there's just not enough glitter there just kind of dab it on a little bit and then drag it. I like to make sure that, you know, mine's even. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, so I really like that. I'm actually loving the way that my nails are looking and blinging like that. And now I'm just gonna cure. Okay, and then last but not least, I have to put that top coat on again. It's what's gonna give it that shine that bling I'm all about that bling all about that bling just kidding <laughs> nobody wants to hear me sing all right so again I just wiped off my brush got everything off and bam I'm gonna give it a nice good coat top coat and seal it in again I always seal the edges by just putting a little bit on and if you have short nails, the shorter your nails are, that's okay. You can still use this. Just give yourself like this, put it on the end, and then just do long strokes. So anybody with any types of nails, uh, short or long, can use these. Trust me, I used to bite my nails, so I totally know. Okay, and I'm just going to check, make sure I didn't get it on my skin. If I did, I can wipe that off. And then, bam, done. Okay, so I have one hand done, one hand not done. Uh, but there's one last thing for the True Shine, and that is on here, it feels sticky. And I don't know if you can see that, but it gets sticky, and you have to wipe that stickiness off. Okay, so you're gonna get a nail prep wipe, um, or you can use the nail prep um, cleanser as well by Jamberry. And um, I like to get the bottle because then I don't have to waste all of my little wraps. But these are great for traveling or giving out to friends as samples. And you're just going to wipe it off. And one thing that I super love about gel, super, super love, is once you're done painting your nails, it, it is done. It is dried. It is on there. And it ain't going anywhere. Okay, so I only did these two nails for the video. And as you can see, they're done, they're nice, they're clean. This one is super shiny. When I put it next to my other wrap, as you can tell, I don't know if you can see that kind of in the video, but this one with the True Shine is extra shiny, which I really love. It's really sealed in those two wraps that are layered on top of each other. And again, I really like that. And I actually kind of like and digging this uh, wrap as well and how I kind of spiced it up. So this one, as you can tell, super spiced up this one. 
Um, I like how it kind of gave it that mermaid look. The name of this gel is called Life's a Beach. And I really like it. So it kind of gave it that nice top coat. Really pretty and no more stickiness on there. And it's just ready to go. So as you can see, I spiced up my nails. I hope you guys like it. I hope you love it. I know I do. Okay, so that was it. That's the true shine. I love it. So we also did my friend Cynthia's nails in the what's this color called? Sorry, porcelain. So as you can see, sometimes you can just go with like that basic classic look. So beautiful. She has the prettiest hands. Or you can ba bam spice it up. So whatever you guys think, um, if you have any questions or anything like that, Kristen's going to be answering those after this video. And I hope you guys loved it. I hope everybody's going out to buy the True Shine. I just love my kit and everything that's in it. So, all right. Thanks for joining me. Have a good night.